And over to the world of aviation where we are talking about the future of aviation, British aerospace firm Rolls-Royce has completed test of world's fastest all-electric plane. The state-of-the-art technology, it has been tested by a company on a full-scale replica of the plane's core called an Ironbird. The core of the plane includes a 500 horsepower electric power train which has set world speed records. The plane is part of a Rolls-Royce initiative called Excel, short for Accelerating the Electrification of Flight. The test flight of world's fastest all-electric plane developed by Rolls-Royce is significant because it is first project of company to use offsetting to make whole program carbon neutral. Rolls-Royce hopes that developments made for spirit of innovations, electric powertrain and battery system will be used in company's future range of motors, power electronics and batteries for the general aerospace, urban air mobility and smaller commuter aircraft sectors. And to talk more on this, we are joined by Mr. Matthew Parr, the project lead on Excel project from Rolls-Royce. Welcome and thank you for joining us. My first question to you is, what were the big challenges and how did you overcome them while this record was set? So the, the real big challenge is sort of looking at the electrification of, of aerospace, uh, especially particularly going for a record, is, is around the energy. So how do you get enough energy on board the aircraft as you, as you move away from sort of the jet fuel, the sustainable aviation fuels that are there? So our biggest challenge was the battery and getting a battery that, say, was power dense enough to, to achieve the record, but also energy dense enough to keep us in the air while we while we fly the course. But the great thing about this technology is it's the exact same technology you need when you start to think about air taxis and urban air mobility. So when you see all these fantastic concepts today of these, these aircraft taking off from the top of towers, skyscrapers, flying flying between buildings or flying flying to the next city, that's this exact same technology we've used to go and enable our plane to go fast. And another question to you, Matthew, is how far are we uh, from seeing the full, full electric aircraft? Like this was a test flight, the world's fastest record flight. But how far are we from the reality? So we're seeing electric aircraft today. So if you, if you start to look in the in the kind of the small propeller market, the two seater, four seater aircraft, you can go buy an electric plane today. Particularly if you want to learn how to fly, there are aircraft you can go get. For our aircraft, the technology focus is on is on the urban air mobility market, and for us, that's we see that as 2024, 2025. Those aircraft will be in flying. They'll be certified. You could call one using your mobile phone. It'll come pick you up and then take you take you on a journey you want to go. When you start thinking about kind of slightly bigger aircraft, so maybe the regional aircraft that that considered under the Udun activity and, and how we move between cities, that's more sort of 2028, 2030 timeframes so as sort of the back end of this decade. And how will it help company to bring down carbon emission targets uh, for you and for other world companies as well? So, so for Rolls-Royce, we've been pioneers in aviation for the last 100 years. We, we plan to be pioneers in the aviation for the next 100 years, and that's about sustainable aviation. That's about investing in the jet engine, investing in sustainable aviation fuels, and then investing in disruptive technologies like electrification, which is what we really show with this project, that, that investment, that commitment to go enable sustainable aviation. So electrification is zero emissions of point of use. So our, our record-breaking aircraft doesn't produce any emissions at all when it flies. But of course, it's a whole ecosystem challenge of where did the electricity come from as well. So you, you have to work across industry to get there. And what is the business case here? Like how will it impact and improve profitability revenues concerned of the airlines across the world and even Rolls-Royce as well? So what we're actually seeing is, is, is clear pull from the customers, so from the passengers traveling on the airlines, that they want to travel in a sustainable way. So this is a route to enable uh, reduced emissions and, and, and you know, reduced um, 
footprint, a carbon footprint, and, and a more sustainable route to aviation. Electrification also increases the efficiency of the propulsion system. So if you if you electrify an aircraft, you can you can look to improve the efficiency by 10 to 15 percent, especially in sort of a, a hybrid configuration. So there's a route therefore that you're creating creating better operating models for the airlines as well. For us in this in this project of the racing plane, Really, it was it was about creating that technology that's going to lead to a better business case, but equally about creating the technology to hopefully inspire people and convince them that this this is possible, this is coming. And one of the biggest issues is safety. How is that addressed? Because safety is paramount for aviation. So this this is the reason why it's it's a, it's taking time to bring these technologies to market. So there's there's no reduction planned or uh, considered a reduction in the safety level of of an aircraft as we move from the conventional technology we have today to electrification. So we're working incredibly hard with the ASA, with FAA, with the, with the national bodies to really understand how we're going to keep these products at the same safety level so when we deliver them into the market you, you don't you don't you don't expect you quite rightly wouldn't expect to see any difference and you won't see any difference they'll be just as safe as we are today and your competition also has it will it complement your efforts as well because airbus has it other plane makers have also developed this electric plane though yours is the fastest Yes, yeah, so, so for Rolls Royce, we're a propulsion system provider. So we we want to work with all those companies you just listed. We want to work with Airbus. We want to work with Hyundai. We want to work with all the sort of the major companies putting urban air mobility platforms together, offering them propulsion systems to go to go enable their aircraft and deliver those services. And one last question to you: How has the India team helped in making this a reality? You have a development center in Bangalore as well. So Rolls-Royce has a fantastic team in India called Rolls-Royce Data Labs who have, who have supported us through this project by essentially optimizing our, our aircraft. So our, our engineers have, have produced an aircraft that is, is going to be fantastically fast. But how do we get that last bit of speed out of the aircraft? How do we optimize the battery and, and the motors and, and work with the pilot to fly the aircraft in the exact sort of correct way to get the maximum speed? All of that's been enabled by a great team in Bangalore who've supported us in, in really looking at all our data, bringing some really powerful analytics and making sure we get the fastest speed that we can out of this, out of this plane. Thank you, Mr. Matthew, for joining us and getting us all these interesting details about world's fastest electric plane. Thank you. We on now available in your country. Download the app and get all the news on the move.